So then the A's are really the vegetarians. They need to yeah. be more vegetarian. They, they, they do better on a sort of low octane diet. Uh, so in essence, if you look at type A, they do better on things like, uh, they can do well on some types of seafood, uh, but their proteins should be predominantly plant-based. So for instance, in this blood type, you really try and emphasize beans and legumes, complex carbohydrates. Uh, type A has a very consistent uh, association with higher rates of certain cancers. So in essence, if you're looking at the type A diet, you're also looking at probably to the best of our knowledge what constitutes maybe the best anti-cancer diet as well. Soy products in type A actually have some pretty good results in terms of being able to lower their rates of cancer. And in and of itself, the whole soy thing is kind of one of those wonderful paradoxes that we find in, in medicine, which is, you know, the New York Times will say one day soy is good, and then the next day Newsweek magazine says there's a study that shows that soy is bad, soy is, uh, you know, the miracle thing that's going to solve everybody's problems, and now soy is going to attack your thyroid. So how do people sort through the whole competing thing with the media information that's coming out with regard to studies and things? Also, Increasingly, we're going to look at genetics. Right, right. And there's also the, the, the threat of the high GMO content in the soy products, the genetically modified organisms. So that's the, that's the A. How about the B? Well, we can talk about Bs and ABs is kind of in the same tone. Right. They, they both carry a B antigen, which...